This is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Today we're going to cover troubleshooting high CPU uh, caused by traffic with the DM RAW command. So um, high CPU could be caused by multiple things, but in the case of a loop um, or a broadcast storm, something like that, those are going to hit the CPU. And so the DM RAW command is going to allow us to see raw packets as they hit the CPU. They'll tell us what the source and destination MAC is. They'll tell us uh, what VLAN those packets are on. Um, and it will tell us what port the, uh, the packets are ingressing. Um, you can use DM raw for multiple things. You can apply filters to it, but this is the, uh, the basic premise. So um, in this case, we're going to do a show CPU. We see that our CPU has been pegged up about 80%. Um, I know there's a loop in this network because I don't have spanning tree turned on, um, but we could do a show CPU, show CPU tasks. Uh, and so what we're going to see down here is uh, we see RTM or the traffic manager uh, is, is spiked up there at 40 48% of the CPU utilization. So that's a big number. Normally that is going to be, you know, zero or 1%, um, a couple of percent, but 48% means that those are, that's received traffic that's hitting the CPU. Um, the APPL above that, don't worry if that's a high number. So if that's 80% or 90%, that's kind of equivalent to the, to the Windows uh, system idle process, right? So, so that's usually a high number. It's not a high number in this case because the traffic manager is taking up the CPU cycles that it would normally use for idle. Um, so we know we have high CPU caused by traffic. So the next thing we need to do is figure out where that traffic is coming from um, and or where it's going to. So as I said, almost always in the case of high CPU caused by traffic, it's going to be a broadcast, an unknown unicast, or a multicast, right? So part of the bum traffic. So um, we use the DM raw command. So, so DM raw is a, is a hidden command. DM stands for diagnostic mode. Um, so you need to be careful with these commands, right? It's diagnostic mode commands are uh, not for the faint of heart. So uh, use them as specified only. So DM raw, if I just hit DM raw here, uh, it would flow forever, right? With no filters on it or anything. So the first thing we need to do on DM raw is we need to set a maximum number of packets we're interested in seeing. So in this case, I'll set DM raw max 20. So I want to see 20 packets and then it's going to turn itself off. The next thing we'll do a DM raw. Uh, first, I want to start with mode brief. So there's two modes, normal and brief. So brief is going to show me the briefly, um, the brief output of packets hitting the CPU versus the uh, extended output. We'll see that in a second. Um, so we'll look at brief. Um, now we can do a lot of other things. Uh, by default, it's only inbound packets, uh, which is what's causing the CPU utilization. But you can set that for inbound or outbound or both. I'm going to leave it as inbound only because that's what's hitting our CPU in this case. Uh, and then to run it, we'll just do a DM raw and let it roll. So it's going to stop after it hits my 20 packets, right? So it says here it, it, it stops after it reaches a maximum limit. Um, so, and then we can see that all of these packets here are all the same thing. So they're all ARP packets, right? So they're from 192.168.2.1 to a destination of 192.168.2.50. So um, they are coming from this source MAC address here. So CC4E24DD5FEE, and they're destined to a broadcast. So they're a broadcast that's just looped and looped and looped. So this is an ARP packet. Someone's tried to send a packet to a destination that doesn't exist, most likely. Uh, and those are just looping around and around and around. And we can see from the port numbers here, the ports are 121, uh, 1113, 122. So those are the three ports that are involved in that loop. Um, if we wanted a little bit more information, we could do a uh, DM raw mode normal uh, and then run the DM raw. Actually, I'm just going to set to max five and then run a DM raw. And so our output is going to be substantially more. So there's, there's a lot of uh, 
interesting things to our tack there's a lot of interesting information in here but for you uh, if you're quickly trying to find a loop and, and disable those ports or you know turn span on those ports or whatever the case this is going to tell you what the ingress port is so one two one in this particular case um, it's going to show us our destination mac then our source mac here and then uh, the additional piece of information this is going to show you is what VLAN that packet's on, right? So if if you have spanning tree, if you have multiple VLANs on a on a tagged interface, and you're trying to figure out maybe what VLAN has the loop on it, or which VLAN has spanning tree turned off somewhere, or whatever the case, you can get the VLAN number from here as well. So as I said, you can set many many filters. You can filter and just look for specific kinds of traffic. Uh, if you want to, but you know, in this case, by default, it's going to show you all of those packets that are hitting the CPU. Um, so anyway, that's it. That's a quick way to troubleshoot without having to go and you know turn switches off or you know unplug and replug in ports on the fly. Things like that make me cringe. So if you can do that through through uh, software and see where that loop is, and then just be very specific on what you're doing, that's the best way to take care of that. Anyway, thanks for joining. See you next time.